Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you're all doing well, and I hope you had a lovely weekend. If you're new to my channel, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you need to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go over and check that out, and you can book a reading with me. I also have an opportunity for emergency reading, so if you need something right away, you can shoot me an email. All the information is there on my channel, on my uh, website, okay? Um, yeah, so this is a Virgo channel where we do all the drama. Check to see what's going out. Virgo's only Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And then, as always, remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. All right, Virgo. Hi, moderators. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Let's get into your reading and see what the messages are moving forward here for you, Virgo. Okay, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting and someone wants to date you. Okay, ooh, a healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addiction. And you also have a mask. Okay, not showing true feelings. Hiding, uh, pretending, deluding, and gaslighting. Okay. Ha! Huh. Well, what the F? What the F? Let me see here. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what's going on here. So definitely someone is interested in you right now, Virgo. Okay, somebody would like to date you. All right. Um, there's a healing energy here. Somebody that it, it feels like interested in you is coming out of a toxic relationship, okay? And is going through this healing cycle right now. <clears throat> but they're coming in with a mask, okay? Because they're still healing, right? So I feel like some of you, um, you might get some information or someone might tell you that they're interested in you and they may tell you that they're recently out of a a toxic relationship or a, an unhealthy relationship um, but you may find out um, okay so it's two messages that this person because they're still going through healing uh, energy they still have their boundaries up their walls up very strongly but they may also tell you that the person that they were involved with in the past um, was a liar or they didn't they didn't show how they felt for them okay um now some of you this could be your energy okay you could be interested in someone but you're still healing at this time so you still have a little bit of a mask on you're not ready to reveal how you really feel about things just yet so let's take a look and see what the other messages are here okay so king of pentacles four of wands Okay, you're showing up strong here. The Hermit, okay, and the Star, okay. All right, now here's the strongest message. You've got somebody here, Virgo, who really is interested and really wants to date you. Um, flirting with you, okay. And yes, the message still holds true that there's a healing energy here. Um, this might be somebody that you broke up with or that a broke, you know, a break happened, a relationship ended. Okay. Um, and I feel like this person does not want to reveal to you that they're hurt still by something that ended. Either they ended it with you or you ended it with them or someone was forced to end it whatever um and i feel like this person is still interested in you as their heart is healing there's still an interest they, they do want to date you they still like you um they're not going to reveal that they are in love with you if anything they're just gonna because they're protecting their heart they're hiding their heart okay um Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but there's an energy here, right, of a lot of reflection. This person's going through a lot of reflective 
energy, this healing, renewing the hope within themselves, okay? This person, Virgo, wants to be in a committed relationship with you, all right? Point blank period. They do. However, um, they're not fully ready, you know? So I feel like this person's going to reveal to you that they're interested in you still, or that they still like you, but because that mask, they still got to keep themselves protected and keep that mask on. It's, they're coming in pretending <laughs> that, oh no, we're just friends or, you know, uh, you know, like, yeah, we can date or they're flirting with you, but they're not revealing how they really feel. Let me take a look at this King of Pentacles here. This person's coming in very, um, stable financially able capable um maybe they're like very reserved workaholic uh, masculine feminine energy um maybe they're an investor this person comes through is like very solid and practical um resourceful very domesticated not much in the way of emotion okay yep yeah. four of swords withdrawn as far like that's what I was saying, withdrawn, but also healing. That's what I'm saying. Um, for some of you, this is a past person who's still interested in you and does want to be with you, but they're they're hurt by either a relationship that ended. I don't know if, if that person ended the relationship and you didn't fight for it and they're hurt by that, or vice versa. But the four of wands here, this is all about reunion. And that's why I'm bringing up this past energy, okay? So for some of you else, uh, some of you else, what, I'm making up my own words here. For others of you, this is definitely somebody who's just coming in, who's interested in you, okay? Um, and is looking for a long-term commitment, is looking to, it's, so you take it, here's how I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna give you the message, if this resonates, so it's past or, new okay or someone you're currently dealing with if that you turn it the way you want to turn it but with the four of wands i will tell you that this is an energy of, of a reunion okay so let's see okay yeah there's somebody here who's not trying to let go they don't want to let go but they're also not revealing too much so this person's trying to have their cake and eat it too in a lot of ways you know they don't want to let go of you and they want to be in a committed relationship with you. Um, I'm hearing, can I come home? Somebody saying, can I come home? Or can I, can we get together? Or, you know, can I meet your family? Or can I talk to your family or friends? This person has not fully let go of a connection here. All right. Um, but at the same time, with the four of pentacles, because we have two fours and fours are all about structure and foundation and stable situations and planning. So with the four of pentacles, this person still has a desire for long-term security, but they're also kind of greedy. They don't want to let you go. Am I seeing regret? I feel like some of you decided just to end the relationship because maybe it wasn't going in the direction that you had hoped. And this person is hurt by that, and but it still, it's, it still has something here for you. Okay, so show me the star. What is the star energy? Okay, the star card, obviously, renewal, hope, inner clarity, miracles, having faith, being in the spotlight. Um, this person could be in the spotlight. They could be um, a pastor. They could be working entertainment. Um, this could be someone who's like a healer, um, a spiritual healer. Doesn't have to be those things, but it's kind of like <clears throat> this person comes in where I feel like they are really working on themselves to try to fix. Now we have the fool, so that's Aquarius on Aquarius. So I feel like this person is really working on themselves, reflecting a lot, trying to free themselves here. This person is coming in. Hmm, they're ready to go. They're ready to start their life with you. Have some kind of adventure here. Have like a new beginning. This person's ready to take a chance to move it forward. They really are. Um, but again, 
they're gonna take it really slow. I feel like this is like crawling. I don't, they just told me crawling back to you? Oh my goodness. They just said crawling back to you. Like on bended, like hands and knees. I gotta write this down because I know that this reading is gonna go this way. Yeah, crawling back to you. I don't know what happened, you guys, but it feels to me like, I know some of you are just like, no, you don't want the past back and that's fine, you guys. Um, but I gotta give this reading because it's for somebody here. So your past person is your past person, but this being somebody new coming in, um, this person's coming in as an earth sign, okay? Who was hurt in the past and is trying to heal and start over, but is not trying to reveal everything to you just yet. Let me see. Okay, the hermit. Yeah, look, with the moon. Piscean energy. So this is someone who's not revealing everything. They're still reflecting, okay? I feel like somebody's asking themselves, why didn't something work out? What happened? A lot of withdrawal energy here from somebody. Really, there's a lot of withdrawal. It could be you. You may have withdrawn, like I said, to go into healing yourself. Um, still liking that person, but putting on a mask as if everything's fine. But the truth is, if you could reveal how you truly felt, you would, but you can't to this person because maybe they were blocking or they blocked the connection. It's very interesting. I feel like I got to pull more clarity. <laughs> I really do. I want to know more about this fool. What's going on with this fool? What is up with this fool that you're dealing with? Ready to take a risk here. Start over. New beginning. Oh my gosh. Now we have the hermit again. Okay. Wow, this person. I don't know what happened, but they have been in deep, deep reflection. Trying to figure out what happened. How to make something better. What to do. They're not going to come right out to you and say, I'm in love with you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to have a committed thing and just, you know, go the distance with you. They're not going to come right out. This person comes in with that full energy is very immature still and hiding a little bit, um, but not willing to let you go because right now I, it feels like they're going through some kind of transition and change, trying to understand, you know, um, what this heartbreak was. Um, trying to free themselves not only from toxic relationships in the past, but also the toxicity or addictions that they may have within self. Show me this moon. Okay, there's something here. I also hear this person is taking a look at how they cause a lot of conflict in the relationship or in their relationships. Um, they also caused competition and maybe they made you if you knew them they made you compete for attention with others okay it's a lot of um a lot of challenges this person put a lot of obstacles in front of this connection and and just in general in their life put a lot of obstacles it's like they're like i feel like this person it feels like this person just always has a broken heart and it feels like they can never get past or go any deeper than that deep bond love. It's always like, yeah, I like you. You know what I mean? Like it always, it feels like it just, for them in their life, it just kind of always stayed at like the dating phase and it never went any deeper. But maybe you left the relationship because it didn't progress. And I feel like this person still has feelings for you and they're heartbroken about that. And, and right now, it seems as if, if you knew them, or if you know them, that they're really going within their deception and their lies. They're really taking a look at that, like gaining some wisdom here about their end of things, seeking that personal truth, right? And they're asking themselves questions because some of you didn't give any explanation if you left or you didn't chase some of you maybe you did but this person wasn't able to see it they're rethinking those things that you said okay they're rethinking if you sent them a broke a breakup letter they're 
actually seeing it now for the first time. Maybe they just discarded it last time, but now they're taking a look at the challenges that they placed in front of this relationship. Show me the hermit again. Uh, also that they're also reflecting that they, um, they always stay in that full energy. Okay, this is something that they're taking a look at here. The fool is like a baby. It's a very immature energy. Okay, this person stayed in a, a very, like a fool energy. Never really being concerned about the consequences of things. It's almost like a, like a child um, before, like ch children. You kind of know how children are. It's like all about me. It's like entitlement. They want to share their toys. They just, you know, I mean, very sweet and innocent, like like a child. This is an innocence about this card as well. But it's also like um, someone that just, oh, there's no consequences for me ever. You know, I approach life where I'm just a wanderer. I just don't have any responsibilities or anything like that. And I feel like that's something this person is kind of reflecting on in their life in general. Or how they how they were in their past relationships. And if you know them with you. So there's a lot of healing energy going through here. But I will tell you, this person is still very much interested in you. But they're hiding it. The best they can come up with is, well, I just, I like you. I want to date. I want to I want to spend time with you and I feel like Virgo you're like okay great I need more than that if this is a past person if this is somebody new coming in it's sweet but you have to know that this person something happened they went through some kind of a breakup or um, difficulty letting go of a marriage but they're putting the cart before the horse and I feel like you got to pay attention to that because this person Maybe you meet them somewhere, you see them online somewhere, you talk to them. They haven't fully healed from a past relationship. So guard your heart with that. I cannot believe, I try to clarify the hermit and they gave me the moon here. I try to clarify the hermit here and they gave me the moon again. So th this energy, I am telling you, uh, this person is seeking clarity big time as they go through this healing process, okay? It really feels to me like if you walked away from a relationship or this person, something ended, they're in this phase where, you know, like when a breakup happens, um, when two people separate after a while, that they get distance, the fog begins to lift, we are better able to have a logical view of how what the relationship was really about. We begin to take inventory. Sometimes if somebody breaks up with you, the one who gets broken up with tends to overanalyze, you know, Virgo, like, well, I should have done this, or why did I do that? Or maybe it was this and that. This is what this person's going through right now. Assessing analyzing what the hell happened why did things go this way and what am I supposed to do I still want Virgo or, I, or you know what did I do in the past now I like somebody new meaning you if this is somebody new um, there's also a fear the moon can represent fear a fear of jumping the gun a fear of moving too quickly and that's why this person is wearing this mask Okay, so not showing true feelings. What is this person's true feelings that their their heart is broken? Um, they're in delusion still, and that's why they're seeking that clarity. That's why the moon card is there. Let me see your energy here. There we go. What's going on with you? You know what? I'm going to pull from a different deck. Let's take a look at your energy here. Um, this person, all right, all right, they're giving me more messages, so let's hold off for a second. This person, very, very attached to family, so there may be some kind of family influence. I know, they're just saying pull another card here. There may be like, um, 
a very strong family influence. Um, maybe they have children, maybe they were married and there's a separation and then they meet you um, or it's just their family of origin, things that they're not, they don't want to reveal about their family or about that. <gasps> you gotta be kidding. Four of Wands on the Four of Wands. I feel like this very strong messages, very, very strong here because they just keep giving me the same thing. It's definitely something double whammy about the family, okay? Or about a marriage. There is an energy of not being able to let go of a family, okay? Or family members or, or you know, mother, father. Um, family of origin issues here. Not necessarily issues, but withholding, holding back. Because uh, for some, something to do with family. Maybe they were, that had a lot to do with why a relationship ended. Um, somebody was not willing to let go of the family influence. Let's see what else. Okay. Page of Wands. Very immature energy again. You know, I feel like this person had... Um, or has visions of breaking free from the family. They might get treated like a child a lot of the time, like immature, treated that way by family members, yet. This person with the Page of Wands, it feels like they dream of, It feels like they, they dream of, uh, they have a lot of creative ideas, a lot of, they live in kind of like, you know, it's a very active energy. This person's very active, but it feels like they live in these, in this like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And these are my plans. And they tell their family they're going to do things, but it feels like the family's like, no, you're not. No, no, that's not how we do things. I feel like this person is really trying to break free. Um, maybe they were married or maybe they still are in some kind of committed relationship and their partner won't let them go. Somebody has a hold. There's a heavy influence and somebody has a hold on this person. People, places, or things. But it's mostly like family. Let me see here. And I feel like that influence, it's, if it's a past person or somebody new, you know, that influence is still there with this person which is something they're trying, I feel like, to heal from. But there's just a very immature energy. And I feel like this person doesn't really know um, how to just open up. They have a strong fear of being hurt, um, of revealing. The best that they're going to tell you is, oh, I really like, I still like you. Instead of saying, I love you. I love you. Because they're confused. I feel like they can't say it because their heart it is they're just heartbroken all right let's take a look at your energy Virgo ah. <laughs> here's the moon now that's three times from two three different decks Virgo you're not revealing shit look at you you're single as a Pringle here you are you're doing your own thing you're not revealing anything to anybody or this person okay um I kind of feel like you are still trying to figure out how you feel about things. You're very focused on your solo pleasures right now. Um, your financial gains, you know, being independent, working hard, filling up your bank account, you know, um, your abundance, things like that. But with this moon energy, there's a something here like... You're really just focusing more on trusting your intuition at this time of your life, which is good. I feel like you don't want any deception or lies. You're, if you were in a relationship in the past with either this person or somebody else, um, you're still trying to gain clarity. I feel like we've got two people here who are trying to like, maybe there's separation. You both still like each other, right? Um, but you're both wearing a mask, right? Because there's too much fear with these moon cards. A lot of fear to open up and reveal anything because I feel like it's two people are kind of like, I don't even know what to say. What do I say? How do I reveal? If I reveal, I might get hurt, you know? Um, 
I don't want to get my heart broken again, that kind of thing. And even with anybody new that you might meet, it's kind of like the same energy. So Virgo, a lot of you are just like, you know what? I don't really know how I feel about things or about this person. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm getting distance. I'm still getting distance and things are beginning to slowly come to light. But I am sure that I'm putting money in my bank account and <laughs> I'm getting a new car or I'm buying new clothes or I'm just doing me. I'm definitely sure because that's safe and secure. And that's what you're telling yourself. The tangible things that you can touch that you can feel, that you can hold. These are the, the sure things in your life and you feel safe with that at this time. As time goes by and you begin to, you know, you're waiting for the sun to come up, that's all. Because right now you got that moon energy, it's dark. You know, the, the moon is shining light on the tops of things and you can't really make out what exactly things are. There's not enough you know, like with the sun, there's not enough exposure at this time to really understand how you feel or just what you want as far as your emotions go, right? Which is fine, which is fine. You're going through some kind of transition here. Let me see what else is going on with you. Okay, you have judgment. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Aquarius twice. Um, we have Virgo also. Um, one, two, two times. We have Pisces three times. And now we have Scorpio. So let me pull these cards out here and then I'm gonna put clarifiers. And we have Libra, <laughs> Aquarius again, and the King of Swords, okay. So right now, Virgo, like I said, your emotions, you're not sure. Yes, yes. Things are, you're starting to figure things out, okay? As far as like how you feel, what your emotions are telling you, what your feelings are telling you, okay? So we have judgment again, right next to judgment. I cannot believe the amount of repeating cards here. It's insane. So really i feel you are back to back here with just some of you want reconciliation with someone but you're not quite sure yet you're trying to trust your intuition and your gut about how you really feel you're, you're just not sure you don't know if you want to return back to someone or if you just want to give it time distance space to see how you really feel about this person or a relationship or just in general about getting involved again okay Judgment here, though, uh, some of you are wishing karma, bad karma on somebody, and that's part of your growth process, and don't feel bad about that because there's a grief process, you know, that you go through where the anger part comes in. So some of you might be kind of like, that energy could be playing out for you. You're so angry, and you're just kind of hoping, you know, like karma get them for what they did. I heard some of you saying that. And for others, like you're trying to just gain clarity and figure out what the hell is my life's purpose here. And in doing so, leveling yourselves up from a nine of pentacles to an empress. Okay. Um, let me see this judgment card here because you're in the process right now, Virgo, of making a final decision. Um, one that once you make it, you do not backtrack on it. Okay, so 10 of Pentacles, right? That's what I was saying, going from the nine to the 10. Some of you are thinking about moving out. Some of you are thinking about buying a home. Some of you are just, you're trying to figure out for some, what does a safe, secure relationship look like to me? And who can I build with, right? A lot of you are reassessing your values and reassessing what you want, not just the emotions, you know, the emotions you're still trying to get clarity on here. There's no cup cards here. There's a lot of pentacles and major kind and a sword. So I feel as far as the emotions go with the moon, you're still trying to figure that out. 
you know, the cycles of the moon have some of you just in and out, up and down, left and right. You don't know whether you're coming or going and you're just trying to kind of wait and see when things just neutralize for yourself, your feelings and your emotions. But what you're seriously looking for, I feel this time in your life is stability, security, you know, you're looking for that brick and mortar relationship, the one that's going to stand the test of time where you feel like you can open up to someone and they be your rock for you. You know, that's really what you're seeking here. So a lot of you, you know, I feel like this person, like I do feel like you, there's still feelings for this person, but there's some clarity you don't have yet. And that's what you're trying to gain access to. Now you have the Empress here. Okay, yeah, geez, I can't believe it sometimes. So here you are in this Empress energy, right? Male or female, doesn't matter, masculine, feminine. This is in your feminine energy. And this is more like creation. For some, it's fertility. Do you want another child? Um, this is about, uh, maybe some of you are rethinking about being a good parent. Um, some of you are just, you want someone to come in and love you and admire you for who you are. You know what I mean? Not for what you can offer, what you can give, but like for who you are, right? And that's what you're seeking, a romantic proposal. That's what you want in your life. You know, someone, you want romance. You want affection. You want admiration. And you feel like you deserve that. And you're working on getting yourself, because I feel like some of you, you know, you were connecting with someone in the past or... Well, for some of you, you were connecting with someone in the past who's just very immature and just really, you know, they they were trapped, they were stuck. You know, real good with work and business and things like that, but withdrew a lot because they worked a lot. Not very romantic, not very giving, okay? Yeah, you're looking for teamwork, partnership as well, because Virgo, you're not all, you're not all romance every day, 24 hours a day. I mean, you believe in creating and building and you believe in teamwork as well. You believe in collaboration, two people working together, negotiating, carving and building a relationship, building and creating love together. That's what you want, you know? Just feels like very a lot of conflict, deception um, with this person. Um, difficulty expressing love or expressing the emotions and the feelings. Um, a strong family attachment or influence and someone who just would put work first or their, you know, their investments, the things that they're doing, very reserved and withdrawn in their emotions, okay? So now you have, look at this. Now you have the fool as well as this person. So you're growing up too, Virgo. I really feel like you're maturing as well. And I feel like you are um, starting over. You want freedom. You want the freedom to make your own decisions here. You want the freedom to start your life over and have that new adventure. Yes, you're... So I feel like there's an energy of um, immaturity on both sides, but in different ways, okay? For you, Virgo, it feels more like your immaturity is coming in the way of you want freedom and you want adventure, okay? I feel like this person here is looking at reflecting on their immature ways as far as relationships. Virgo, I really feel like you're just, you're moving on. Single is a Pringle and, and you're, you're, you're moving it on. And I feel like that's what's going on here. Let me see this. What is going on here with this, this full card for you? Yeah, look at you, Knight of Swords. You're taking action in your life. You really are. Some of you do wanna reconcile with this person, but only, you know, if it's a past person, but only if they can provide safety and security in this, um, in this relationship not like you know you gotta text me 20 times a day you know uh, it's just someone who gives you a sense of like you don't have to worry i'm here 
I'm here. Even when I can't be there, I'm here, you know? And they let you know a reasonable amount of time where not enough time, not too much time goes by and then leaves you wondering, right? This, you are looking for someone that doesn't cause doubt, that kind of thing. And for some of you, you do want reconciliation, like I said, but you want that um, only if it comes in that way, right? With this person. Now, for others, I just feel like you're re-examining yourselves, what you want. This Knight of Swords energy, you're, I see you here. This is lifestyle change, 100%. This is like taking risks. Some of you are just like, you know what? I'm getting out of here. I'm doing what I got to do for myself because I got to. I got to move. I got to relocate. I got to travel, you know? Um, I'm making big changes. I'm making big moves in my life. You know, some of you are just like, you know, I'm going on vacation. Some of you are just, I'm going on vacation. And you're coming through as the king of swords, okay? Masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. You're coming through here where you're taking, like, as you're making strategic moves. You're, you're thinking about things before you do it. You're choosing, right? You're not reacting. You're choosing what you want here. So you're coming in with this. Yep, look at this. What's fair and what's right and just for me, that's what I'm looking at. So some of you are just taking your selfish self, selves back, <laughs> putting yourselves back. You're being fair with yourself. Like you're not, like I know a lot of you may have questioned if you gave too much or you did too much. And maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I don't know or just to other people in your life. But right now, you're not um, accepting any love offers from every, anybody, whether they like you or they don't or whatever, um, unless it's what's good for you. So we, now we have Libra and Taurus, we have Libra energy here twice. Show me this justice card, clarify this justice card. Uh -huh. Here's the king, king of pentacles. It was right here in the beginning. This is your person. So I feel like some of you, you know, this person, are they going to reach out? Because I feel like there's going to be some type of communication. There will be some flirting. There will be some type of communication from somebody here where they just dip their toe in the water and tell you they, they really like you. They're interested. They want to know if you want to date. Um, or they tell, if this is your past person, they tell you they're still interested, they would like to keep dating and they want to try again. A little bit of flirting, romance starts blooming. Um, and I feel like a lot of you, yeah, this person is, I was asking if they're going to communicate. Three of Wands. The three is a card of communication, harmony, um, advancement, and birth. So there's definitely like a new beginning here. Okay, in the sense, like, I feel like this person is still looking out across the water. I'm hearing maybe they live across the water or somewhere far. Okay, <laughs> look, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person, you know, the Three of Wands energy is, is, is like teamwork, working together, um, travel. This person, they are very... In their Nine of Pentacles energy in the reverse, um, this person definitely has a workaholic kind of thing going on. But when they're not working, all they're thinking about is you or will be. Okay, maybe you work with this person already, somebody new. Um, but this person is like very envious too. You know, in the sense where like when they think about you, they wonder about you if you're single or if you are depending on somebody else or if you're with somebody else. I feel like, let me see, is there going to be anybody? I do feel like this person is going to be, look, King of Swords, man. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Honestly, Virgo, I don't know if this person thinks that you're with somebody else. You might be, you might be with a Libra or you might, or an Aquarius or um, a Gemini. But you, um, I feel like they wanna talk to you. 
So I was asking if this person was going to communicate with you. Well, the King of Swords, they're definitely thinking about you. That's the intellect, um, strategic type of communication coming from this person. I'll reach out, definitely. Um, in fact, some of you might have this person blocked where they can't reach out to you. Um, and they, but they will be, they might send you like some type of communication through like virtual communication, um, and are, are going to be waiting to hear back from you. And if you have them blocked, they don't know about it. <laughs> They're going to be waiting. They're going to be waiting. Okay. And for others, this person new coming in, I'm just hearing somehow they get a hold of you, but you don't see the message. Um, because somehow they get your phone number, you don't have their number, so it's filtered, or it's like a message somehow through an app or something where you it doesn't show up in your immediate messages. It, it's like down or it's hidden somewhere, and this person waiting to see if you're going to respond. That's what I hear. As far as somebody new or somebody old, okay? But that energy definitely playing out. Let me see. Get a couple of romance angels cards here. I don't know. This person, I feel like there's also a mask not revealing their true feelings because they don't want to get hurt. They're afraid you're going to hurt them. You're afraid if you reveal your feelings, you have a fear of getting hurt as well. Some of you are still healing from a heartbreak. You're ready for love, but your your emo your your physical self is ready for love, but your emotions are not. Your your heart is not ready. Your mind is ready, but your heart is not. And that's what I feel like this energy is playing out here. Okay, so there's flirtation. Like I said, someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting. Wants to date. Okay. Extending light-hearted energy to others. So there's a lot of flirtation coming up here. Oops. Sorry for that. My grandson's crying. I don't know why he cries. The way he does seems like... Well, I do know because he has autism. So he gets upset. Okay, so there is new love here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so for some of you, this is definitely a new love reading. Okay, definitely. I don't know if I'm going to call it crawling back. I'm not sure because I feel like it's a little bit of both, but for some, this is like recommitting from a past relationship and turning it into a new love start again. And it starts over with, with flirting. Okay. But not flirting is not deep. Flirting is not revealing the two, uh, the deep feelings very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Virgo. I feel like that's your energy really. Uh, and this person as well. It's kind of like, all right, I'm needing to make a decision here. You know, try to re rekindle a past thing and try to slowly start over because somebody's coming to terms with, if this was a past relationship, how, what their role was in its destruction or deterioration. And you're also going through this as well. Like, you know, there's some distance here. Okay, some distance has been had and little light bulbs are popping everywhere like, oh, I forgot that person said that. A lot of you kind of, and I will say this, and I don't mean this in a judgmental way, but a lot of you just overlooked a lot of things with someone in the past. You let somebody say certain things that they should not have said. And a lot of you, because you love this person and because you wanted things to work out, you just kind of brushed it under the rug. But as time goes by and the healing and the distance, these things are coming back up. And it's like, wait, did they, what, did they really mean what they said? Or was I really just being like, a why was I, why did I take that? Why did I brush that under, under the rug? So a lot of you are getting, trying to get clarity too. So it's, it's really like, as far as the past relationship goes, I feel like it's two people after having some time apart and having a broken heart and not revealing things to each other still are interested, but now it's like, not sure. Do I want to go back to the past? Can this work? This is like, wow. Yeah. I feel like two people were just in something very deep and 
but the breaking away is very difficult. There might have been a lot of toxicity or addiction in this connection. And it's kind of like getting sober, seeing things for how they really are, and then trying to decide, um, can this work or can it not? Yeah. So um, let me get a couple of names, dates. See what's going on here. Uh, so I do feel like Virgo, um, you will be reconnecting with this person in the month of March. I mean, it's very soon. Okay. So I mean, just a few weeks could be a week from now. There will be some type of communication made. Like I said, some of you are getting a message of some sort somehow on your phone or something that you don't see, um, that you'll, you, you'll overlook or it'll be hidden in some way in, in a very, in, a very conspicuous place. Okay, let me see what your other messages are here. Okay. Yeah, I was just hearing, uh, tell Virgo to stop sweeping things under the rug. Stop sweeping things under the rug. Okay, so we have the 8th. Could be um, October 8th. Um, we have the 8th. We have the letter P. Uh, somebody's name is Paz, P-A-Z, or nickname Paz. We have the 13th. Okay. Um, the 18th. Okay. Somebody has turquoise blue suitcases. I just <laughs> saw that image in my mind. Okay, we have the 19th. Okay, and somebody's going up to the ninth floor, I just heard, or someone lives on the ninth floor. Let's see, what else? Okay, and the 21st, looking up the 21st. Oh, somebody has lemon trees near where they live. I'm picking up lemon trees. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I always get this. Somebody's out jogging or likes to jog or run. Okay. You're either jogging right now or you like to jog or run. We have the letter J, the letter G. Somebody's name starts with a U. Um... Okay, somebody is playing a roulette wheel or some kind of casino game or something, some kind of game app or something on a phone. All right. Okay, somebody's birthday. Well, I'm picking up, no, they're not a birthday. Something happened in June of 2020. Significant, June of 2020. Significant time period. Um, okay, I just saw the name J E U N. I don't know how or J U N E. June. It's June. J E U N. I think I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, maybe I'm saying it right. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Somebody's in a wheelchair or is in a hospital being rolled around in a wheelchair. They're pushing someone in a wheelchair. Okay, the first, we also have the second. Somebody's born in 1992. Um, okay. Somebody just turned 21. 
Oh, somebody likes ZZ Top. I guess it's only Z Top now. <laughs> They're listening to ZZ Top. She's got legs. I'm not singing that. I wasn't a big fan of them. <laughs> um, okay, they just said Sherman. I just heard Sherman. Like P. Sherman? Sherman. Okay, we got that P again. Um, somebody is, I don't know, writing a book or a story or turning some pages or listening to something or looking at pictures on a phone, scrolling, looking at pictures. And somebody, I don't know if you're making like a, um, a drinking a milkshake, somebody drinking a milkshake or milk or something with milk in a cup, cream, cream in your coffee. Okay. Oh, mm, they just said, They said heath, and then they said stone, or hedge stone, or something like heath or stone or hedge stone. Okay, somebody lives in apartment 6G. I just heard. I'm looking up, they're giving me the area code 610-926. Or you can switch those numbers around if you need to. Somebody's 34 or 43. The wind is blowing where you live right now. Somebody. The wind is blowing. Okay. Um, so three four one or three one four or four one three i'm getting or one three four like i said you can change those numbers up and last but not least the letter c and the number 17. okay and we'll get a couple of charms and then i will send you on your way we have a American flag okay so maybe somebody's going to America is from America probably that's cliche because most people here are or you're looking at a flag oh this looks like a ninja star to me like one of those you know weapons <laughs> a ninja star I don't know what that means and then we've got this black moon with a gold star Okay. Um, this feels mostly like somebody's eating a, um, a like a round, like a round donut, like a munchkin donut or whatever it is, like a round cake pop or something. I'm just hearing somebody took a bite out of like a cake pop. I don't know if that, anybody eats cake pops. Are you making them or doing something with a cake pot? Now we have an elephant. Somebody loves elephants. And then, oh, okay. Something going on in Africa um, right now. Very serious with the US. Something going on, in, and it's all over Twitter, or it will be in the month of March. Something with Africa, very significant. And it's also something to do with Asia as well, I'm hearing, oh, in Russia. Okay, I don't know, they're telling me Africa. South Africa, somewhere in Africa. And that's not, I mean, I don't know, just, it'll be on Twitter, something's gonna be tweeted or something's gonna show up. I'm gonna get one more, okay. Oh, we have a T-Rex, dinosaur. Okay, interesting. T-Rex. Oh, wait, is that a T-Rex? I think it is. It's got a, yeah, it is. It's a, it's a, 
These are the, the elephant and the T-Rex. Oh, maybe there's some kind of like archeological dig. Something also, um, uh, maybe you're, uh, somebody could be, there might be a documentary or something showing up about mammals and dinosaurs. I don't know. Like, so it's weird. Yeah, we've got mammal, we've got an animal. Well, we've got an elephant, a bird, and a, and a dinosaur. I don't know what's going on right here. <laughs> Something about evolution, maybe? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> could be an archaeological dig or something gets found or a woolly mammoth. Uh, something could be in Africa. Something gets tweeted or you're, maybe you see some. I don't yeah, I don't know. These are very strange messages. I don't usually get stuff like that, but I'm just going to leave your reading there. Okay. Thanks you guys for watching and enjoying the video. Please do hit the like button on the video so everyone gets a chance to listen to the message. Please do hit subscribe. That will help promote my channel more. And don't forget to go over to the Oversoul community. The link is below here where you can join my spiritual community. Um, on a more personal level with everybody and with me and yeah that's it so thank you you guys and I will see you all in the next coming days all right love you take care bye